Oof. First episode of Demon Slayer. Oh, man. I was really uh, looking forward to that one. And it, uh, it exceeded all expectations. Oh, my God. Uh, you know how I always say <laughs> oh. that Demon Slayer has been, uh, like, carried by his animation? All that's said and done because this uh, is where the real character development begins. I be- and I be- and I believe that. Mm-hmm. And even though the animation was still goaded, I don't know how it could have got better. I know I don't know, but like the minute I saw Akaza in the Infinity Plaza, and spoilers, anybody watching this video, we're super excited about this, so we may spoil a little bit. It came out today. Stop! Stop waiting around. Go watch it. <laughs> spoilers it now because we're gonna spoil this. I'm sorry. Day one spoilers. <laughs> Day one spoilers. Just go watch it and then come back to us. Um, but when Akasa was di- deep diving into the Infinity Castle, mm. the the way things were moving and the anim- it was so fucking crisp. It was so crisp, and I was just like, "Oh, this show is gonna be fucking fantastic!" Mm-hmm. Like this show, animation, the story could be asked to be honest. I know it's not gonna be, but it, it's it's great. And I mean that whole first scene with the upper moons, the one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. And or one, two, three, and four, I believe. Um, I think five was there. Was five there? I think it was just the four. I think anyway. it was just four in time. Um, but and Muzan, Kibutsushi, just like that whole scene was probably I know it got spoiled a lot on TikTok. Just especially that part when Nakasa bitch slaps fucking Domo <laughs> and then like then Upper Moon One comes down and slices his fucking hand off without like the, not seeing anything, Ox is like terrified, which it just goes to show you with these upper moons and how badass and tormenting they are on the outside. When they get inside, mm-hmm. and number one's there, and Muzan's there, like they're bitch mate. Yeah, like they're bitch mate. I mean, he still said, like, I'm gonna do everything I can to kill you. And then he was like, Good luck. <laughs> like the, like, the demonic presence shows. is like powerful whenever like number one shows up and like flexes his might. Yeah. Like, everyone's like, Oh shit, I, I don't. Spiritual <laughs> the spiritual pressure is like overwhelming. <laughs> like, everything around them yeah. is like crushing underneath his this, feet. And then he still like, had man. the balls to say, I'm going to kill you. Like, that was yeah. hella surprising. Like, you didn't see what just did you, fucking happened? Actually, you didn't so, see what just happened. Oh, hell did no. Did <laughs> you notice? Did you notice? And you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a slave to the flair of dramatics. Mm. And remember we talked about Eminence and Shadow, how Sid did his flash step and there was no noise. It just disappeared. Did you notice that whenever the other demons left, either A, um, the girl with the, with the, the guitar, string them out mm-hmm. to make them go back, or B, Akasa jumped to leave. Yeah. Number one, disappeared. There I was, was no actually noise. thinking there about was no that noise. shit, bro. There was no... She didn't string this tune. She didn't string the tune. Yeah. He didn't jump away and leave. He just... He was gone. So after... Like just, after I saw that scene, well, when the scene was on playing for the first time, he disappeared, and I was like, okay, did he, like, leave on his own accord, or was he, like, sent away? Then we saw, obviously, Akaza... We saw him jumping away. So I was like, damn, did he just move that quick? And then we saw, obviously, um, Doma, he was... He was sent, or the other guys, they were like sent away, and we heard yeah. her plucking the guitar, yeah, like the, the guitar. Chords. Yeah, and I was like, okay, was he sent away? But then th- looking back at, it, I was like, wait, I didn't oh. hear her pluck the string. She didn't pluck I didn't anything, hear anything. Though. He just instantly he, disappeared. He instantly, he fucking instant transmission. He that's the whole another level that he's that's a, on. That's like a different, level. especially w- when the fact when you're looking at Doma, like watching Ak- Akaza leaving, he was actually able to follow his movements. But number one, no one was able to follow any movement he made when he took the yeah. hand. Nope, didn't see anything. He just realized his shit was gone. Like because when he fucking minutes, left. When he fucking left, I'm pretty sure Domo was like, oh, okay, bye then. <laughs> you know? and like, n- like, nobody knew he was about to leave. Mm-hmm. Not even the girl with the guitar. They didn't even know he was about to, Like, nobody knew. Yeah. And it just shows you the level the, the level that he's on compared to everybody else. Because Akasa was physically just jumping. We, I mean, we watched him on, ca- on the screen, right? Just jumping away. Yeah. And gone. And I was like... Wait, I backed up and I was like, she didn't string the guitar. She didn't string the guitar. <laughs> nothing happened. I didn't like, hear no string, bro. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine they do a camera view of her side and she's about to string it to send him away and he disappears. She's like, next one. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> I guess All you right, will need me. 
Yo, that was um, that was solid. That was a solid. That was ass probably scene. the best scene of the entire episode. And this is a forty-five minute episode, mm-hmm. and I love that they did that for us. Yeah, I love that they gave us that. Like that's that's how you start a show back up that people have been waiting for for a long time. That's how you do it, bro. I've been. I that's was actually thinking it. before this that you know how we we both agree. Attack on Titan, number one, number one new gen currently playing anime right now. Number no. one, Demon Slayer ain't fucking playing with Attack on not, Titan. Not this time. This, not this time. When Demon Slayer did its like its part one movie, that was the same yeah. fucking weekend that um yeah. Demon Slayer um did did its thing. So yeah. that's that's pretty. What Demon Slayer two, ain't playing three, with Attack on Titan. Two or three seasons ago, it was Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan on the same day for weeks. On the same day, they was fighting back and forth. They're not. They're not fighting. gonna let Attack on Titan have this one. I promise you. I think Demon Slayer, like one that that demon side of it was probably the best scene. Now, being me, I have to give one critique mm. about it. We have. I have to just one critique. Great fucking episode. One critique. What's that? I know. I know that they gave us our serious moment, and then the rest of it was more like slice of life, like daily life, like getting back into shape, stuff like that. Right. Mm. But, like, they did a lot of those, like, cutesy playing. You know when they draw the anime characters, like, like with the eyes uh, and they're, they're looking like. No, they're don't. Looking, they did, they don't did that say. Much. Okay. Okay. I hear you. I, I do that, hear you. Like, I hear you. So. Like, when I'm, they made them look, like, super weird. Yeah. So that it would, it would, it would strike an emotional. Like, they're just like, what? And I, then, I like, they you, have man. the weird round face and the two dot eyes. And just, like, just they, know. They did that a lot. From the really manga point of view, the re- another reason why I really love this episode, or two episodes, I guess you can really say, is because it was so true to the manga. Yeah. Those expressions, those scenes... That's exactly is how it's drawn in the manga. All of those expressions are normal thing. Like no, whenever there's a fight, you don't see things like that because it's strictly right. fighting. But whenever there's not fighting going wrong, that's a normal normal happenstance. So yeah. the fact that it came back to its bare roots of what the yeah. manga or what the series is about, I actually found that to be like one of the greatest things about it all. No. One thing I love is when I can literally... I do this with One Piece, too. Sorry, One Piece plug. But I do this with One Piece, too, where I would be watching the current episode, say the newest episode of today, and I'll have that chapter up at the same time. And the, what I love to see is what I'm seeing. Panel not not even... not even. It doesn't have yeah. to be the same words. It doesn't have to be the same way it was done. But being able to see, like, significant moments, like, yeah. those expressions, those expressions were perfect. Seeing those expressions, seeing that significant moment, and look at the panel and be like, "Damn, that's a one for one." They they really yeah. looking at the source material when they're making this. That's that's great you, for me. I'm sorry. You know, what was a fun, you know what a funny thought was that I had, and I don't know why I thought about it, and I kind of was shaming myself. What was that? So when Muzan was talking to all the demons, right? He was doing his little experiments on the table with the beakers and the test tubes and shit, mm-hmm. and he was doing all that work. The minute he dropped his spiritual pressure on everybody and broke all the test tubes, I was like, why, why did you even do the work? In the first place? <laughs> what were you doing out there? <laughs> like, I was like, I legit was like, well, now you just made a mess. Do you know how <laughs> mad you got to be to be working on something for hours and like get so mad and just, and just destroy it all? Like, fuck it. I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all piss me. Yo, Moose, I'm getting mad at these demons. Look at the lower six. He well, killed he them, kills, motherfuckers. He kills them. Like, he the kills upper six, he's like, time. only reason y'all ain't dead is because I like y'all. Because y'all kind of special. Because of your station. He said, because of your station as upper moons, I've been lenient on you. Mm-hmm. They'd be there but just like I, the lower six. Showing, showing the upper one, though, I'm pretty sure he keeps them in check enough. Mm-hmm. So we were talking about it earlier before we started uh, recording. Like, upper one is like the Eve and Muzan is like the Adam, right? Mm. Like Adam and Eve. Like, Mu- the upper one has probably commands the highest respect out of Muzan. Because as we know, Muzan hates demons. Yeah. Like, he hates all demons. Even though, even though he's like the demon king, which he's still like... He's more monster than demon. The rest of them are just weird. Um, <laughs> like the rest of them, he thinks they're like the the scounge of the earth, the scre- whatever that it was. But like he thinks they're disgusting and he mm. hates them, just like the dude in the pot. Like how he fucking transmuted his head into his hand mm. and was like, "I hate change." And it's funny because he's talking to the dude that literally is changing his body constantly, <laughs> and he's just like, "I fuck, I hate change." 
and he fucking threw his head back down. <laughs> or she plucked, plung the thing, and his head went back to his fucking body. Mm. Um, but he hates fucking demons. But showing that, I think he knows that the upper one is keeping them in control. And, I mean, at any point, Muzan could fucking wipe them off. But I think going back to either the previous season or the season before that, I'm not sure exactly when. Um, I think it was when uh, we first met um, number two. I forgot forgot his name already. Um, When we first met Upper Moon number two, when he was pretty much, they were pretty much going off of, it might have not been Upper Moon number two, but it was one of the demons was pretty much like, you know, or he was talking to one of the demons and demon said, like, if you want to kill me, please, please kill me. Oh, it'd be such an honor. It'd be such an honor to fucking kill me, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And that was like the only thing, that was the only reason why Muzan like let him live and gave him a rank mm-hmm. for that reason. The other ones, if they were afraid to be killed, he was like, oh, you don't, you don't think it's an honor to fucking die by me? <laughs> well, then I'm going to fucking kill you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, you like, talk about but, the, the um, lower moon guy? The one who had I like think a... It was a yeah, I know what you're talking about. From yeah, the Muzan yeah, train just, thing. Yeah, he was like, please kill me, please. Oh, it'd be so an honor. Please, mm-hmm. please, please. And then Muzan was like, pause. Oh, <laughs> he did not say pause. <laughs> he was like, like hey, pause. yo, chill. Hey, you, yo, you're doing chill. too much. <laughs> My God, hey, relax. Yeah. You know? And he was like, fine. Here's, here's a break. Fuck, go kill somebody. Yo, that is not what you know he what did at all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pause, bro. No. But I think that was probably the best the best scene in that whole the whole episode was mm-hmm. that that moment now moving on like i would not want to be one of them fucking cleanup crew people carrying tanjo's bitch ass <laughs> like running on his you should be like, you should be lucky to carry tanjo don't 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 start like, with that tanjo right. hate like we we've already had this conversation don't start the with first, the tanjo and, hate, yo, and the first thing i thought about with that too was like when she said i'll be carrying you on my back i was like you understand he has another person on his back right like, mm. <laughs> Like, you're carrying two people. Hey, hey, strong. But, like, built tough. I was like, what? You think what? anybody can be chosen to be part of the Demon Slayer Court's cleanup crew? Like, you got to be a whole different type of breed to be you part gotta of be the a, cleaning crew. Yeah, you're like an advanced janitor. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, look, advanced janitor. Yo, chill, look, chill out with them. They've got, been doing that got, for a long time. You got bris- bristles on the back of your, uh, your sword there. So when you kill Ain't a no demon, way. you sweep it up. Ain't you know no what way. I'm saying? But I ain't going to lie when um, they admit it, because, you know, they had to tell the truth, that Zenitsu woke up before Tanjiro. It kind of hurt. It kind of hurt. But then I thought about it, like, man, that nigga Zenitsu didn't really go through the trenches. He didn't go through the trenches like Tanjiro did. You're right, because he he didn't get hurt that bad. Because because he was was fighting the weaker, the the fake upper moon. So, yeah, I I understand. I understand. He helped Tanjiro. My, my, yeah, you're right. He had to defeat the weak demon so Tanjiro can get the he glory defeated the weak for demon. defeating the, the strong defeated demon. defeated the weak demon before Tanjiro finished his and jumped in to help him because he's like, damn, bro, hey, you need help. Hey, yo, you he need help. Hey, Tanjiro didn't need his help. Relax. But anyway, <laughs> so when they admitted that, I was like, all right, all right. I get that. I get that. But, you know, greatness usually takes the longest to rest. Like, same thing mm. with, like, other main mm. characters. Like, Naruto. Mm. Naruto is going to wake up mm. after everyone else because they're not going as hard as him, obviously. They're doing, like, mm. small menial tasks while the main I mean, character they don't, they don't need does to all the work. Thing. Exactly. Exactly. Because I mean, right. they he, fight the weaker and, demons. And, and I'm not going to take that from you. He's uh-huh. the MC. Uh-huh. Of course. Uh, but regardless, he, he didn't need it. I'm sure they... Didn't they both have ranks? Didn't both I'm sorry. brother and sister have ranks? I'm they sorry. Were together. No. They no. Were one did you did you not hear Muzan? He was like, Yeah, I knew I knew he was gonna lose. Daki was holding him back. He didn't need that. Daki so held he him back. Got it. So just got like Zenitsu, Doc Daki held him back. But it's neither mm-hmm. here it's neither here or there. What I really want to talk mm-hmm. about is Zenitsu. the pain I felt when I realized Zenitsu's not gonna be anywhere near these first few episodes. Like we're not gonna see him at all. That was because he's was he's busy, you know? I did I was crying crying. on some mountain somewhere. I don't know. He's always crying. You're right. Just like Tanjo. Until he goes to sleep, of course. Nezuko Chan. Hey. Nezuko Nezuko Chan take care of herself just like Tanjo takes care of herself. Please do not start with the blasphemy. We don't have time for that. Stop, get away from that. Back, back to real, actual that. events that happened. <laughs> that, so, so I did think about that, though. Uh-huh. I think what they're going to do is they're going to fly their carrier pigeons, their carrier ravens, and they're going to come. They're gonna reconnect them mm. for the main event, right? So I was kind of pissed off when, like, Tanjiro went to the swordsmith village 
and like because it's a swordsmith village arc which i'm assuming an upper moon kidnapped the fucking the his smith that's what i'm assuming happened but um we're not gonna get into that but um i was like well shit he's here already it's the first fucking episode yeah. like oh shit okay um i'm thinking what's gonna happen when they realize because obviously like there's hashira there already um, which we're going to get into my girl, Mitsuri. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think what's going to happen is they're going to fly those ravens, those crows, whatever it is. They're going to tell them to reroute, mm. and t- Zenitsu and fucking Inosuke are going to come. Because, like, uh, fucking, what's his name? I for- I keep forgetting. The-, the one that's in charge of the Demon Slayer Corps, like the main, the head lord. Yeah. With a big-ass scar on his face. He's like, he knows, they're, he knows they're the dream team. Like, all three of them, they're the dream team. He, he's pretty much said it. Hey, you, you know, ever so seen he, that one meme where it's like Naruto, um, Hinata, and Sasuke, and they're like 100%? Hinata? Not, I'm sorry, I always forget her name because she's not, she's not. So you're trying to make she's a joke and you fucked it up. Sakura, you're my bad, to make a my bad. It up. Sakura. And it's like 100% of Team 7's mm-hmm. power, right? But then they say mm-hmm. 99.9% of Team 7's power. And it's just Naruto and Sasuke, right? So... When we look at the dream team, so as you case, dream yeah. team, case, it's one hundred percent of the dream team's power, and then it's just a picture of Tanjiro, and it still says one hundred percent of the fucking dream uh, team's power. No, because no. these two side, because these if, two side characters if don't if matter. Nosuke and Zenitsu did not take out fucking da- Dari, whatever her name is. They would have lost. You mean the the one that was holding him back, the female? If they would have, t- if if they wouldn't have taken her out. Tanjiro would have been dead. Mm, I don't know about that. But. So you think you think the brother and the sister wouldn't have been able to beat beat Tanjiro and um, the sound Hashira? You think Tanjiro think. couldn't fight the sister by himself? I'm talking about the sister and the brother. I mean, we ob- said obviously. I know the um the sound ninja. He would have been able to take fight the brother. He probably wouldn't have been able to beat the brother, obviously, because he needed he Tanjiro's lost. help. But Tanjiro could have fought the sister um, by himself, as he clearly showed. He, he probably could have fought the sister. I'm saying, though, you're saying it's 100% of their power. But if Zenitsu and Inosuke weren't there... That's because the sound ninja needed their help. Tanjiro didn't mm-hmm. need their help. Tanjiro had no, the situation. <laughs> Tanjiro oh, had yeah. the situation Stop under it. control. <laughs> Yo, man. come on. Let's Stop be real it, here. Man. Tanjiro had the situation under control. You couldn't even keep a straight face. Come on. Let's, okay, let's be, let's be real Please here. Stop. Let's be real here. Please not. If... If the um, brother didn't show up, and she was just the main, the main no, no, villain no. or the main antagonist, there's no, what, there's no could Tanjiro we take care of the situation? No, we're stop. gonna we're gonna add it all together. Stop. We're gonna keep on adding more pieces. If it was stop. just Tanjiro no. versus her, stop. he could have handled stop. the situation, right? No, you don't think Tanjiro could beat because the girl? He wasn't the the brother was inside of her. Let's let's take away the brother for a second. No, we're, we're gonna no, bring we're him in. Doing this. We're gonna bring him in. Don't worry. You're breaking down so many pieces just to make him win. And it's look, not here. Fair. look here, look here. I, I understand. Was, I understand. Tanjiro we need 100. percent All you said was Tanjiro's uh-huh. 100 percent of their power. Yeah. All I'm saying is if they pulled up to the same exact fight mm-hmm. with brother and sister, and Zenitsu and Inosuke were nowhere to be found, mm-hmm. they would not have won. They would have not have stopped. Stop. Don't even. What if it was Inosuke? Could Inosuke beat her? Could Inosuke have hold, held her off and beat her? could. I think Zenitsu is one hundred. Can you agree with me that Zenitsu is stronger than Inosuke? Yeah, yeah. Zenitsu is stronger than okay. Inosuke when he's sleeping. So Zenitsu is like the Naruto and Sasuke. When he's so sleeping. Like Zenitsu, when he's sleeping. Zenitsu and, Zenitsu and Tanjiro are like the Naruto and Sasuke, and Inosuke would be the Sakura then. Mm, I don't know, because Zenitsu and Inosuke are two sides of the same coin. When right. one is completely fucking erratic and psycho, a psychotic. But and the when other he's one. awake, he actually puts in good work, while the other one is useless, versus when Zenitsu is sleeping and he's sleeping. Then of course Zenitsu is the master. Shit, I would I would even break down to say that he's the strongest of the team if all three of them are sleeping. But then again, to be real, Tanjiro did wake up first on the Mugen train. So when all three of them were sleeping, because yeah, he kept so. killing, he kept killing himself. Yeah, because he's a G. But at but then, the end of the what day, what do we see Zenitsu do? Fly through fucking train cars while Tanjiro was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. What kind himself. of dream was Zenitsu having? Do we, we really want to get into those dreams? <laughs> <laughs> this man was having a whole <laughs> sex <laughs> dream. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> he ascended through the fucking heaven. Yo, we know what that truly man. Tanjiro was trying to figure out what fucked up his OODA loop, and Zenitsu was going. Bzz. 
through trains and shit, fucking them all up. Hey, yo, Zenith is a beast. I ain't gonna hold you. Zenith is a beast, and I am upset okay, that so, he's not gonna be in the back, current back season to, as well. Back to the episode, though. My girl, Mitsuri. I know you want to get to Mitsuri. I understand. I let Mitsuri. me say let me say this first. Mitsuri is an amazing um, upper. I'm, I'm not upper. I'm Damon, but um, part of the Hashira, and she's great. This anime or this episode definitely did her part up a little bit more. They ga- they gave up a little fan service, to give her a little bit more. I didn't read the manga. This is who she is to me. This is I who she care. and honestly, that's who she is <laughs> in the the manga as well. She's the love Hashira. People love to see her, she, but <clears throat> they they showed a lot more skin and man, a lot more scenes of out, her. My man flat out said. Mystery, your breasts is about to pop out. Come I mean, that's, he said the same up. thing in the manga, too. He said, whoop. He covered <laughs> her shit up. I'd have been like. Yo, <laughs> it was actually pretty surprising um, that Tanjiro showed how much he was into her um, in this episode. Remember when after she, like, gave him a hug and then she walked away, he had the blood, like, popping out of his nose. Like, I think that was more. I, I took that. I interpreted that differently. How did you interpret I, interpre- that? I interpreted the blood. Because I know, I know in the anime or in animes in general, they do the blood for like perverted things, for really excited, you know, whatever. We had that whole conversation. But mm-hmm. More often than not, it's when somebody sees a girl naked or you know whatever. But when she said, when she whispered in his ear about the sword that'll make you the most powerful, his biggest thing is being powerful really? and being strong to beat Muzan. So I interpreted it as when she told him that, he got that really excited feeling. He was like. I'm going. I'm going for this one because uh, right after that shit, he went into the woods. Oh yeah, really? Uh, honestly, that's cause I don't crazy. Because because Kenobe or Kenu, Kenube, Kenobe, I don't know. That's Tanjiro's wife in the future, anyways. Mm-hmm. So like, he gets with Kenobe, and he's never showed any really love interest in the whole show. Mm-hmm. And it's weird to have the first one be Mitsuri, and then he ends up with Kenobe. Ken, Kenobe. I keep forgetting. I, I don't know feel as that. if it's a, a love Tano, interest. Tano. Sorry. Yeah, I don't feel like it's a, a love interest. More of a damn. This girl's fine, and I'm she, a little boy. And she she whispered, it, yeah, exactly. She just like whispered. I was surprised she didn't like I bite his ear for a second. Like I still, I just still don't think it was because of her. Because the whole time, even with the boob thing, when mm-hmm. she was running down the stairs, he didn't do that at all. He just covered her up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And this time, she was fully covered, and all she did was whisper in his ear and hug him. So I'm like, I I just interpreted it as that like. She told him about something that would make him stronger, and he immediately got excited about it. Okay. And he blew fucking blood out his nose. And more majority of the time, we do correlate that with perviness. Mm-hmm. But this time, I think, because you explained it to me before, you are saying, like, it's also not perviness. It's also just when you're really excited about something. Yeah. And I think that's what it was. But you don't think she way, made him flustered? Come on now. Look, look. Look I mean, at that her. other girl. He that made her flustered. Like, dick. That fucking clean up, clean up girl. Oh, when he <laughs> in the background, all the yeah, she was and like, shit. and she's like, oh. yeah, she was like, say that hey, again, yo, say that yo, again, say it, say it again. <laughs> yo, hey, Tanjiro's top, top G. G. Let's be let's be real here. He's like rookie top of the G. year, like all the Yucky young. He has the best hair. I'll give him best hair award. Best hair award. Like with the flowiness, like it going. So back you really like, think he has anything over in Nosuke's pretty ass? Like, have you seen a Nosuke in his hair? Oh, yeah. I'm talking about hair. I didn't say like face and full features. I mean, but the hair though. He has some beautiful ass hair too. I was kind of. I was kind of. It was kind of cool to see Tanjiro like when he ripped his fucking cloak off and like he's. Oh, like, he was like big and, as like, shit. Big and shit. Like big as fuck. Yeah. Right? Like I was like, damn. Like I actually looked at the manga. He was like skinny in the manga um, panel too. I was like, oh, that's an interesting change. They decided to like make him beefy because it makes like sense. Because it makes sense yeah. of how he's trained and how much battles yeah. he's been in. He well, it's he kind of be it's kinda like what they do. It's kind of like what they do with Asta before the time jump. It's mm-hmm. like Asta in his black robes cloak, his black bulls cloak. He looks like skinny, but then like when they went to the beach and he took his fucking shirt off, everybody was like, <laughs> "God damn! Like what the fuck?" He's got. <laughs> oh, hey, he top Asta G. What I say? Ten million push-ups and shit. <laughs> Tandro's top G. But no, overall, what you what you think about the episode? It's, well, it's fucking great. I don't already t- this thing was fucking fantastic. I, I'm I'm looking forward to this shit mm-hmm. and like seeing the end and like I know the next episode, fucking the upper moon because that's like the upper moon in disguise in the end, and then that's I forgot what Hashira that was. That's the poison Hashira, isn't it? Which one? Or the poison Hashira is Obanai. Obanai, the snake. Ha- is that the snake Hashira? Yeah, yeah, that's the snake Hashira. 
But the one, the Hashira at the end of this episode that we saw, instead of the um, victory, he's the poison one, right? Or is this? he not the wind Hashira? He's the wind Hashira. He is the wind Hashira. Yeah, I, think yeah, he's the I wind remember Hashira. him saying that. Yeah. Yeah, like, I know they're going to know. Like, these are the some of the two powerful, most powerful people in that whole fucking village. And then Tanjiro's just behind a tree. I know they're going to catch on to his ass mm-hmm. um, being there. So I can't wait to see that interaction. And I feel like, I feel like kind of like a way forward or kind of like a prediction of such. I think Tanjiro's going to have a, com- a conversation with the upper moon one in disguise. And he's going to get this ominous, like, death feel from him. Mm-hmm. He's going to feel like a spiritual pressure come from him. Yeah. And it's going to be like one of those things where it flashes like a demon on the screen, like a... And then it's going to be like, Tanjiro's going to be like, what the fuck? And he's going to be like, <laughs> whatever. And then, like, the upper moon leaves, everybody leaves, and Tanjiro just thinks about it over and over and over again. And then we get to the climax of the, the season where, obviously, they're going to fight and shit. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it's, I think it's going to... I think this season is going to hold... Hold some weight. It's mm. gonna hold some water. It's gonna be like Attack on Titan. Who? Attack on Titan. What? <laughs> I don't know. You really think Demon Slayer is gonna compete this well season? because of this season? I think this season is gonna do really well. Yes, I think it's gonna be really now compared to the Rumbling. Mm. Eh, I mean, I like know. this season has to do really well if it's gonna compare to the Rumbling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I think the first episode's better than the other than the. In the first episode of season four of Attack on Titan, mm. so I mean that's and that's animation as well because uh, Demon Slayer's animation is is better. Yeah, I mean, we can a- agree to that. But this animation is supposed to be like more colorful and more vibrant, mm. whilst Attack on Titans is supposed to be more gray and ominous and like lackluster because it's a really adult, mm. very gruesome anime. So hot take: I yeah. actually prefer Attack on Titans animation to than Demon Slayer's animation. I think it. I think it depends on what anime we're watching, though. Because I agree with you if mm. I'm watching something like Attack on Titan. Yeah. But if I'm watching something like Naruto or Demon Slayer, I'd rather them have their anime that they, animation they have now. Okay. I mean, Naruto can always be redone. But with Demon Slayer, for example, like I'd rather it have that animation. Okay. I think it just depends on what specifically I'm watching. Mm. So, but I think I think this season's gonna be fucking fantastic. Yeah. So, Honestly, from this first episode, pacing wise. It was four chapters of the manga all in one episode. And obviously, it was like a double feature. It was like two episodes yeah. in one. So, let's say two episodes episodes per chapter. That's pretty, pretty fucking good pacing. Like, we're not supposed to see everything we've seen so far into almost halfway. Probably, say, let's say a third into the, um, this saga or this season in the this manga. Arc, yeah. yeah, this arc in the manga. So... I think the pacing was really well. I think that means they're just going to spend more time on choreo- choreography, the actual fight scenes, animation, um, some more world building for the um, like the um, Swordsmith Village because there's a lot of lore when it comes to the Swordsmith Village and everything that they, they provide to the um, the Demon Slayer Corps. So I think that's um, pretty well done. I actually found it funny, um, for anyone who does read the manga, that they did change a little bit. That final scene that we saw, so, a little bit of that was changed. So um, i love to hear your take, and I would love to hear anyone's take of what they think is going to mean, because that's actually a somewhat significant part of what's going to happen next. So I'm actually pretty excited, excited to see episode two. Honestly, it's like, what what are we what are we going to do next? What are we going to get into next? Because a lot. Four, I hope we get forty five minute episodes every episode. <laughs> Bro, do you, do you not want the animators to go home? Like, fuck the producers. Like at that at that point, they're not going um, home at all. Like, who's, I mean, it's made already. Who cares? It's made. No, it's done. No, it's not even it's made, made already. That I doubt it. I doubt it. Because think about all... South Park. They don't fucking make the episode the 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 weekend before it comes out. I mean, but think about, look at, um, Anos Vodago. What is this? Um, the Demon, Demon King yeah, Academy. Yeah, of Demon King Academy. They had to stop. Meaning they didn't have all the episodes already. They were putting out episodes. Even if they were, like, doing it two, three weeks ahead of time. That's their fault. They couldn't fault. continue going on. And that, and that happened brought, they during COVID, brought it too. Out. They shouldn't have brought it out then. They should have <laughs> until it was done. That's on them. Well, that happened I also think. during COVID. Like, um, a lot of studios, they weren't able to have their people come in to draw, so they had to stop in the middle of seasons That's for a lot of different animes. They got their COVID shot. I don't know. That's their fault. 
But no, <laughs> all that all that to say, honestly, I'm I'm really looking forward um to this arc. I'm curious to to know how long it's going to be. Like, is it going to be the traditional length? It's going to be like twelve. 12, maybe I mean, Demon Slayer, they usually put, put a good number, like 20 episodes out per season. So if it's going to be a pretty long season, I'm, I'm season. pretty sure it's going to do numbers. I would say yeah. definitely competing with Attack on Titan. And, and if Attack on Titan don't end the way that people are hoping is going to end, the Demon Slayer might come up and snatch that shit right from under. I ain't even going to hold you. And I'm, I love Attack on Titan way more than I love Demon Slayer. So that's how I we'll feel see. about it. We will see. <laughs> we will see.